Hey, how's it going there, my fellow Goshawks, and welcome back to another episode of Flow Factions, or should I say, to a newer series that I'm going to try and do here on this channel for you guys. But this series is going to be all about how to get comebacks, what loadouts to use, and generally just some tips and tricks. And also, this series is going to be all about just me showing some comebacks that I did get in the past, or also some comebacks that I did not get in the past, and me analyzing from my mistakes that I did, or from the things that I did correctly. I think this is going to be a really amazing series. These comebacks, I have not seen them in a while. These comebacks are like from a year ago, or maybe even more. So, yeah, I don't remember anything about these comebacks, but I do know that they're awesome and they're gonna pull off, pull off some great videos for you guys. So, I hope you enjoy. Alright, guys, here are we back on Flow Factions as always. I have this series with this game, I love it so fucking much. And today, we're gonna analyze some comebacks, starting with this one that you can see on the screen right now. And before I actually get into the comeback itself, I wanted to explain how is that you can see if a comeback is real or not. So basically pretty much you just go at the scoreboard at the end of the match or at the end of the clip. And if you see that the person was dying a lot and it's because that the person was trying. And off the bat we have double kill with a Molotov, that was a really nice one. But for, for now we're not in the comeback yet, I'm still prepping for my comeback. What you can see me using right here is a loadout that I use every time before I uh, switch to my comeback loadout, which is this one. And why do, I, why do I do this, you may ask? Because if you just see, I have three, uh, three. I have 30 bullets for my AR and I have um, pistol upgraded once. This is a really good way to earn parts, so f for example, first off of the match, you have a class that you can use to earn parts and you are not going to spend any, any of those parts and the second part of the match you're going to use the purchasable class or your comeback class for that matter if you see that you're losing the match obviously so yeah really nice trick right there i use a bomb to throw it on the ceiling that is really good to throw off your enemy because he's gonna think the bomb is gonna go over him but it's actually gonna land right on him and here I get really unfortunate I get stunned with a smoke bomb and get shivved but we're still with a lot of um, we still have a lot of tickets left and we can still respawn there you go 32 bullets that's a lot guys in my opinion that's a lot So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna sp skip this part, but I think I might keep it because I need to explain why I get so many bullets for my AR sometimes. And it's kind of crazy. Right here, I spot one on my radar, so I go crouch for behind this little thingy. Unfortunately, he spots me before, and yeah, I do not get the drop. But let's let's not worry about that. We have one more ticket, which I'm kind of feeling like a scrub to use it, but. Which means I can still respawn one more time and then we are on sudden death. Also right here I realized I did a basic mistake, a rookie mistake, that I should save some parts for armor. Right there, and yeah, that may get me to my demise, but let's see. My teammates right here getting some kills and right now it's a team comeback. Sudden death team comeback. This clip is so old, man. I titled it. I titled it as Team Comeback. Let's see what we're gonna see right here. I'm prepping some bombs and some one hitters. The reason why I get got the one hitter right there is because I have an AR, which is, I mean, it's good for close range. But if he gets way too close, I need something to down him in one shot. Right here, I get the I get the lone wolf for the team. If you're on sudden death and if you're alone, especially if you're alone, you always gotta go for the lone wolf. You can't approach the entire team. Here we attack one more unsuspecting victim. And right now, it's 3v4. Or it is gonna be real soon because the entire team is gonna be spawned at the 540 mark right now. And there you go. 3v4. 
currently the other team is winning. Let's see if I can pull this off right here. It would be pretty interesting if I could. Buying some armor, of course. I got pretty lucky there because if I were if I were to get shot a couple times, I would be dead because I have I wouldn't get any more respawns. But that was the risk I were to take. You see all those guys up there? I end up not shooting them. I think. If I remember this. I think I'm remembering this game. But if anyone else is on that catwalk. If you're on that catwalk. You have to commit because you can't go back or go forward. You're, you're just stuck in the middle of the catwalk. You know what I mean? That is a really risky place for you to be. Right here I spot one enemy, throw smoke, try and stun them, but he throws one back, starts to rush. I get stunned. Honestly thought I was gonna die right here live, but end up getting my teammate. My teammate ends up getting down. And it's a 3v3. Oh sorry, it's a 2v3 right now because my other teammate died. Oh my god, this is really intense. Let's see what me and my teammate can do here. I see one spot coming down below. Let's see if I can protect my teammate. Oh, and I get an unfortunate white plug. Yo, I remember these times. I had so much bad internet. I was getting these white plugs left and right. And there's a guy down right here. It's a 1v1. Last enemy. Hunt him down. My teammate is down. Oh, I spot the enemy. I start shooting him. And I unfortunately cannot get the down. If I was to be smart, I would do, yeah, bait him with the revive. Shoot him a couple times. Oh no, he, re he grabbed some health. Go into my backpack, grab some more ammo. Let's see if I can get him off guard. There you go, he bought, he bought some armor. That's pretty smart of him. If I were to be smart right here, I would rush with my one hitter and try and get him. And there you go. That is... One comeback done, and I can. Okay, there you go. I got the execution. And there you go. As you can see, I did get eight downs, eight executions, which was the comeback part, I believe. And but I did get five deaths. So, in my opinion, that's a real comeback. And worthy to see. All right, guys, back at it again with another comeback. And right off the bat, with no time to waste, I down one guy with my. Pistol. I really love this silence pistol, man. I think a lot of people um, necessarily think. Oh, bomb! Oh, shit. There you go. I think a lot of people think that um, pistols shouldn't uh, be silenced unless you have covert training, and that th that really isn't the case because you can uh, you can also get a little flank without having covert training. And if you do get that flank, you can. Um, Use your silence pistol to take like one guy out and then you know the the entire enemy team doesn't know you're there still. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. We got another down here with my pistol. I think at this point I was trying to save my assault rifle bullets. This is kind of a comeback, but it isn't you know as big as of a comeback, I think. Because at least we're six seven. There you go. I should I should not buy uh, bullets if I was if I were to play this again. Uh, okay, I did buy bullets. If I if I were in that situation, I would I would save my parts to buy future armor. There you go. We go down once. I do notice we have a stick. A one hit stick. With the slowdown, that's very important because you, I mean, you have the assault rifle for up close as well, but it's not as good as like the stick, which is one hit, you know. I don't know if I'm gonna skip these deaths or these loading loading death screens, but there you go. We are on a four v seven, three v seven now. Come back. I think this is where the real action starts. I go into my backpack, craft some stuff. Might as well craft everything right now. Got it. And why not use them? Because you're in sudden death. Or you're in a comeback, so... 
Might as well use everything. And all right, we got the grab the med kit here. I spot one with my radar. I see him going down the street to my left on the bus. I'm gonna wait here. Seems like. Oh no no! I'm gonna cut back. Yeah yeah. He's learning. I, I see one on my radar above me, right there. As you can see, I'm gonna wait for him to come. And use my one hit stick, that's a great choice right there, because he had armor. I'm gonna use my pistol bullets to take out his armor. Oh, and I died from a guy coming down below. I did not expect that to be honest. I saw him on, I saw them on the radar. I thought they were gonna be outside where my teammates were. Doesn't matter, we still have two respawns left. Unless my teammate dies here, we all on the team get one more respawn and then it's a 3v um 3v10 3v10 comeback team comeback maybe? i don't know if i get this comeback to be honest i don't remember this this was a long time ago there you go smart choice of me buying the armor and we're on sudden death right now i need a minute we, finished Move out. i think we all opt to go together which is a smart choice <clears throat> All things considered. Oh, I got my, I got the entire team here facing me, so I have to run, run for it. Throw one molly, get one down. There you go. One of my teammates throws a bomb. We're working together here. This is technically now a two, a team comeback with two people. Down one guy with a assault rifle. Spot one of my the radar, bank the bomb off the wall to get a down. I do not get a down, but I do get a hit marker. I think I'm waiting here because he's gonna go for it. The revive. I'm careful. He did not go for the revive. Okay, that was weird. Keep an eye out. Finish. Move out. I'm gonna go by armor, which is a smart choice by me. Thank you for being smart, Michael from the past. <laughs> See one right there. Oh, oh, right to get him down. Would oh, just down. be enough shots I needed. Spot one right down. I kind of do choke there, but I do nice. get it down with the bomb. Nice. I see this guy coming towards me, so I just execute him because if you see someone trying to come towards you, they're likely to go and try and um I can't even speak right now, but they're trying probably to uh, thank you against the wall so the other teammates could rush you. There you go. I'm last one standing. These two are rushing me, which is a good thing for their team, but I try and I get them both. Nice. One less to worry about. And as you can see, just as quick as that. No one comes back from that. It's a 1v3. Once these other two respawns get taken by the other team. Now if I were to be smart about this. I would rush this. I would rush that other guy while while he wasn't with the other teammates. But I do not do that apparently, which is unfortunate. Buy some assault rifle ammo, assault rifle ammo, which is bad because I should have bought armor first. But it's all right. I think I can make it to this box. Let's see if I can get some uh, supplies. Oh, I see one coming. Uh, I actually see two coming from the radar. I'm seeing, I don't think I've seen this on my original. There's one to my left. Yeah, I expected that. I saw it on the radar and I get down. Oh my god. That was a good game though. 12, 10, 7. GG. And I see GG on the mic. <laughs> that was weird. And there you go guys, that was those two comebacks that I wanted to show on this first video on how to get a comeback. I want to see how the reaction of you guys is uh, to this type of video, which is new to my channel. Uh, although I do The Last of Us Factions video, and I'm tending to do The Last of Us uh, 2 Factions when it comes out. Uh, I wanted to, you know, let out some tips that I know uh, from playing this game for a long time now. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this.
Also, I want to let out that I'm probably going to try and do uh, my The Last of Us Part 2 um, and other uh, series of years on the channel. I'm going to try and do it more edited because I'm having a ton of fun at it, editing these videos. And yeah, I think it will just be uh, more fun for you guys to watch. And yeah, so stay tuned to that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.